Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have seen different operations performed on the single linked list. Right? So, so far we have discussed about the single linked list. Right? So why? Because here every node will be having only a single link. That means a pointer field that is the address field which holds the address of the next node. That means only one link is available for every node. That's why we call it as a single linked list. So in the coming sessions, we will go with the double linked list where every node will be having two different pointers. One pointer holds the address of the next node and another pointer holds the address of the previous node. Right. So, so far we have seen the different operations performed on the single linked list. So in that we have seen how to create a list, how to display the list elements or nodes and then how to insert an element at the beginning position, ending position or specific position and also we have seen how to delete an element from the beginning, ending or specific location and how to uh, find the count of nodes, the number of nodes available in the linked list and how to reverse the linked list. So these operations we have covered in the pre previous sessions, I mean so far sessions. So in this session we will go with the advantages and disadvantages of a single linked list. Coming to these advantages. Advantages. So this is the linked list. The first and foremost advantage is there will be no wastage of memory. So here while creating every node, we are using the dynamic memory allocation for allocating the memory. Right? So that's why prior we are not taking any number of elements or number of uh, um, nodes we need to add. Right? So that's why every time we are calling the malloc function to allocate the memory for the newly created node. That's why there will be no wastage of memory. Second one. Second thing, no need to use a contiguous memory locations. So here one more advantage is we need not uh, allocate the contiguous memory locations for the number of elements because here we are providing the link in every node which holds the address of the next field next node so that's why there is no need of using this contiguous memory locations we can store the elements anywhere but we have to provide the address in the current node insertion and deletion the insertion and deletion becomes very simple so here uh, we have seen this is a disadvantage of our arrays because in both the cases if you want to insert an element or if you want to delete an element we need to move the positions index positions so that need not be taken here so that's why this insertion and deletion becomes more simple right The linear data structures like stack and queue can be implemented. Yes. So the linear data structures like stack and queue can be implemented by using this linked list very in a very simple manner. Right? So this is a one more thing. And then can store any type of data in the node. It can store any type of data in the node. Right? So we have seen that every node is having two fields. One is data field, another one is the address field. In the data field, we can store the either integer or a character or anything else, float. So we can 
store any type of data in the node right so these are all the advantages over linked list single linked list right so no wastage of memory because because we are using the dynamic memory allocation no need to use the continuous memory locations because we are already establishing the link between the two nodes and then insertion and deletion become very simple because we are not moving any index positions and linear data structures like stack and queues can be implemented by using the single single linked list in a very simple manner and we can also store any type of data in the node in the data field in the node right so these are the advantages now we will go with the disadvantages disadvantages so what are the different disadvantages of using this linked list the first one is random accessing is not possible this is very most important disadvantage so here we are not using any index positions right so here there is no chance of random accessing the elements so if you want to access the fourth element it is not possible until you access the third element if you want to access the fifth element it is not possible if you uh, if you are not i mean until you access the fourth element so random access is not possible second one only forward travels traversing is possible only forward traversal is possible because so we are giving a directed link because every node is having a pointer field which holds the address of the next field so it doesn't hold the address of the previous field so that's why only the forward traversal is possible but not the backward if you want to access the previous node it is not possible in this single linked list right next binary search algorithm is not possible so because here we are not using the index values where the binary search algorithm will reduce the search space according to the middle element so here there is no accessing of the index values that's why the binary search algorithm is not possible in single linked list yes so here one more uh, disadvantage is reversing a linked list the reversing of a linked list is somewhat complex because in order to reverse the linked list automatically we have to change the links from one node to another node right so we have to change the links of all the nodes so that's why the reversing of a linked list is somewhat complex so hope you understood so every every node is having a link of second node next node so if you are using the reversing if you want to access the i mean implement the reverse of a linked list we need to change the link of every node right so that is somewhat a complex another one is extra pointer is required so why this extra pointer is required so this extra pointer is required to store the address of the next node so that's why one extra pointer is required so that is one of the disadvantage of single linked list so these are all the disadvantages one is the random access is not possible where we, we are not using the index positions and also only forward traversal is possible so it is not possible to find the previous one and it is not possible to implement the binary search algorithm because here we are not using the uh, indexes so we can't reduce the search space and here also a reversing of the linked list is somewhat complex because we need to change every link of a node and also extra pointer is required because he, he, here uh, every node is having one pointer field 
which holds the address of the next next uh, node that's why an extra pointer is required so these are all the disadvantages of a linked list right hope you understood this one the, these are the advantages and disadvantages of a single linked list right so we'll stop here and uh, in the next session we'll go with the circular linked list okay so if you really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and if you are having any doubts regarding this linked list feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for listening thank you very much